Good evening and a very warm welcome to one and all present this evening. Let us start Samvada session 25. Uh, we have Mr. Renu Gopal who works for our director's office. So over to Mr. Renu. A warm welcome to Mr. Renu. Can we give a big round of applause? Please, yes, what mark of Renu. Female followers, you can see all colorful dress. So you can make out how influential he is in welcoming uh, all the ladies. So over to Mr. Renu. Thank you, Geeta. And uh, good evening to everyone. So, there is nothing I just want to talk about myself, how, how I entered the institute. The first day when I came to the institute is 9th December 1981. It was a night bus from Thiruvannamalai to Bangalore. Those days to come to Bangalore, it takes about 16 to 20 hours. Yeah, now it is only 6 hours. Yeah, yes. So 9th December, I came to Bangalore. I, I, I didn't, uh, not Bangalore, to IIC. To IIC, I didn't look for any job or anything to join my father who was working as a construction laborer in the institute. So the first place where I came is where this our OOC building is there. At that time, that building was not there. The opposite building, the today's faculty club, that was not there. From that place to Nias, there was nothing, only forest. So we had a small sheds where the contractors provided to keep their materials and the cement bags. So after completing my PUC, I am telling this, I came on that day. So my father was, he was earning about 7 to 8 rupees per day. And before that, my brother was joined him after he completed his SLC and he was there with him. And he was working as a temporary employee in the CCT. He joined in 1981 May in CCT for 300 rupees salary. And I joined uh, the, uh, my brother and my father in December 1981. They fed me only 10 days without going making any job. So after 10 days, it was difficult for them to feed a food for me. Then I was sitting at home and spending some time. One Saturday, where my father was working, that building has been demolished now. It was not there. I don't think any of you would have seen. Probably Radha Swami, sir. Uh, Haridas knows. Because, huh? Yes. That house was, uh, there are three houses. This uh, Krishna and all was there in that house. It's a tiles building. It's a, they built that building to, uh, to experiment whether that, that kind of houses can be made in the institute for the rest of the employees. That was not happened. So one Saturday, that Saturday was 19th December. So there was a one laborer did not come for the job. Then the mason, the mastery had a difficulty to find a replacement. Then I was sitting there, he called me, you come. It's a very simple work, it's all big, big work and all is over, only their joints, it's a very fine sand with the cement, they have to make a joint. So I have to mix uh, that with cement. Then he asked me, you do this job. That was Saturday. Then I joined my father, one mason and myself. So I have, it was a new for me. How, how to do that is not known. Then the mason taught me how to do. And I mixed, gave him, I worked. Every Saturday is the payment day. So that day evening, the contractor came. So my payment, first payment was six rupees. One green color, five rupee note and one pink color, one rupee note. It's a, it not even folded. Those days it was pinned. Only two pin was there. The two notes he gave me, that was a big amount for me on that day. And I kept that money for quite a long time. But there was some need for that. <laughs> that also has been sent. So from that day onwards, I started working. That is a Saturday. Sunday was a holiday. From next day onwards, started working for 6 rupees. That 6 rupees paid to the female labor. Male labor gets about 8 rupees or so. Female labor gets 6 rupees. So they treated me as a small, not even a male laborer. He gave me 6 rupees only. From next day onwards, Sunday onwards, 
I started continued for the six rupees, the same work. On 19th December 81, I went to the Himalayas on 18th because there is a Srinivasa typing center. The owner was our own institute employee, deputy librarian, Madhav Rao. You would have, I think you may be not seen that. He was the principal of that. So I joined seven rupees per month typing, another seven rupees per month for short end. I joined for both. Unfortunately, I could not continue short end. Those who know short end, they know how difficult to learn the short end. And a person like me who studied only in Tamil, no English, only one subject, that also after six standard only, we were taught alphabets. <laughs> so it was very difficult for me to continue short and need a lot of time to write also. So I discount. I went up to something like a paragraph. But typing, I continued. The first junior test, I failed. I got a fever. In Malaysia, a boys high school, Lalle Pradito Center. So I failed. Then second attempt, attended, I passed. There I made a mistake. The speed typing, we have a double line spacing. So I, my, my typewriter, it was set as a 1.5 line spacing. So I started typing, the whistle, in those days there will be a whistle, I know everybody, those who learn, it's a whistle. Then we start, I remember about 200 people sit in a big hall and how the noise and that. And I also started typing. When the first page is completed, everybody is rotating their typewriter and it's putting the next page for printing, mine is still half a page is left. <laughs> then I thought, what has happened? Then I saw that uh, typewriter, it is in 1.5 line space. I removed the sheet, called the instructor, I taken another page, put it started from the beginning. <laughs> then I did it, completed, put a full stop after the end, then the whistle comes. So completed within that time, I gave, I pass then senior pass, then after that, <laughs> while doing that, the what happened, this, I, I told you that I continue my construction work. When we completed that building, our contractor got a job of this SSC building, the next building, SSC building, we, got, we made a Bhumi Puja somewhere in February or March 1982. That building got completed in October 1982, for which Professor CNR or Ram Session all came. And we don't know who they are, but I saw them. But now I come to know they are the one. So I worked in this building, the next building, that nearly about 10 months. There is not even a one feet space in that building without my finger point. Even now, ground floor and first floor. And we lived there in this building, the next building. When that got completed, we got another building behind the MBU before uh, mathematics department. It's a small, I'll show you that building in the photo. It's a small greenhouse. So that their building there, by that time they gave, gave me seven rupees per day in that building and even this building also seven rupees per day. And that also got completed. While doing that, this seven rupees, eight rupees and all, I felt that is very less for me. One, one day, the centering mystery, you know, centering concrete mystery, he had a one labor shot for him when this building, first floor was under construction, where this, the same building, first floor, the ground floor was already there. So he asked me, can you help, come and help. He gave me 12 rupees per day. So I started working with him. That for that contractor, this is the first building, Narsimolo. You I know I think you may be knowing rather instrumentation service unit. ISU. No, even that CISL. Yeah, yeah. Before that. <laughs> it was CISL. So the first con contractor, no, no, his first job in the institute is that first floor of this building. So he what he did, he the, but the payment is through mestri, not through contractor. So the mestri gave me 12 rupees per day, but the contractor wanted somebody to look after his construction material. He put a small shed, again something about 5 by 8 and another 10 by 10 to keep the material, 5 by 8 to a person to look after. That room was very next to this wall. I was the one who was looking after, alone slept. 
there was there is not much building not much movement of people i slept for about few months in this next to this wall so this building got completed he got a the same contractor got a another building which is our old ecological sciences just before uh, scrc building so that building that was a full of water it was a rainy season and it's a deep down so when you dig for a foundation there used to be four to five feet water used to come so we have to every day uh, pump out and fill so need lot of concrete so that contractor directly took me to operate the construct that contract what is that a mixer machine where we were we that what is called a concrete mixing machine it's a full day every day 60 to 70 bags of cement we have to mix so so he paid me as equal to a mason to get 12 rupees to 20 rupees i got jumped no one in the meantime whoever my senior including my father when i was paid six rupees he got eight rupees and when i got 12 rupees he also got 12 rupees from 12 to 20 rupees i jumped as equal to the mason's job so every day we need to about 60 to 70 bags cement we have to mix almost from morning say about <laughs> nine eight o'clock to evening five thirty six o'clock <clears throat> what happened the, that uh, that building that uh, that much concrete requirement work got over the pillars came up up to the lintel level then the that contract mixing job is stopped very rarely we do some five ten bags cement the rest of the time how the contractor will make use of me then there is nothing he can do he asked me to do the help work like any other helpers do people started my, about 20 people used to work in this building they started calling me as an operator then after that requirement got over the contractor asked me to do helping to the masons then they started, started teasing me what operators have become helper <laughs> Then I thought, okay, this is not a good idea. We'll shift the job elsewhere. Then I shifted to another contractor who laid the, that the, NAS, the present NASRA building. That is one Saturday I got the payment. I told this contractor tomorrow onwards I will not be coming. I'm going to somewhere else. Then that Sunday I went, purchased the tools what masons use. Something called Karne Kolru and Tugundu. I think liner in English, I don't know exactly. I am um, liner right to Gundi level not the level. These two items I purchased in the market. The Monday onwards, I went to the another contractor as a mason. They are 23 rupees per day. <coughs> then the work was this natural building those days was called the AMS vegetarian. It was leaking. They have to lay a tiles, mangal tiles, it's a double tiles. You have to break it that will become two pieces that they laid it so i was given that job along it's not alone along with another senior mystery so he used to get 25 rupees per day then that is the first uh, earning of 23 rupees per day then i continued in that person then it went on up to say 1983 uh, 84 up to 84 i was doing like that <coughs> then in the meantime, I was in contact with the faculty as a chairman who was the MBO chairman. So they were had an eye on me. So somehow we have to help this boy. One day that uh, greenhouse, when uh, the after completion of the greenhouse, there was a requirement for a helper for that uh, building. Then they, they called for uh, internal, some known people for an interview. They interviewed me. They appointed me as a Mali in that building to take care of some work in that uh, uh, laboratory. The actual work is I have to grow a plants and infect that plant with a virus that they provide. Then infected plant after 15 days or 20 days I have to harvest that and wash it, give it to the lab assistant. He takes care of the rest of the process. That I will show you that also there is one photo in that. So in that building, it went on like that. <clears throat> so before that, before joining that building, uh, that is on when it was on 20th February, I have written, yes, 20th February, 
Monday, 1984. That was Monday. The Sunday was uh, 19th. 18th February, the same contractor whom I was working in the Nasra, he had another construction work in Dharmaraja temple in KR Puram, uh, KR market. So there I was working on that day, that was the last payment. Then I, I, I told that person also, I got a job in the institute, I will be joining, thank you for anything. At that time itself, I had given that Korne, Karne, that uh, two gundu to somebody else, he donated, please take it, I will know no more, it is required for me. Came back and joined. There is actual my life started MBU because I have become a sort of pet to the all the students and faculty members. We were four attenders in that MBU, four attenders temporary, four attenders permanent stuff. <coughs> so my job was to clean the second floor of MBU where Professor M. Vijayan and Mamar and Murthy, most of you may not be knowing, but uh, those who are there about last 20 years may be knowing. So my job was to clean, that is a sweep. Those days it, there is no mopping with water, only sweeping. So sweep that and uh, washing the glass vase of three labs. It was a Vision's lab, Sashi Aksha's lab and Amar and Muthi's lab. Three lab glass vase I used to wash. Then after I got the job in MBU, the faculty members and students encouraged me to go for a uh, evening college. So I joined the MES. They got a seat. The chairman wrote a letter to the principal. He got a seat for me. He asked me to go and join MES college, become. That is after three years gap. 81 April I passed B plus 2. Then up to 84 I was doing this work. They encouraged me to join. But I got 90 plus percent in the BCom, but not mark attendance. <laughs> <laughs> I could not get 35 percent to get through the BCom. Even till today, not possible to do that. I am not degree holder. I just gave up. Only some two, three subjects I could pass. So, if I would have got degree, probably I would have become a better position in the same institute because I had sort of well wishers godfathers in the institute. Then in that two, three years, there are many people, they, they say MBU, since I joined for um, uh, the college, one student started giving me a Tamil to English, English to Tamil, a dictionary, a leaf code dictionary of this big that will be useful. And another student gave me a SC Gupta advanced accountancy book, that said this book, I did not understand any accountancy because no accountancy in plus one, plus two directly become they started starting uh, teaching and another person gave me a calculator cash your calculator one more student and the two girl students started teaching me one is Malayali girl another one is Tamil girl the Tamil girl photo I have I'll show it to you so she every day evening she used to make me to sit with her and taught me how to speak English the another thing is when I joined MBO, although there were four attenders, three attenders before me, they used to come with their own cloth. My boss, Professor Amar and Murthy, he thought why not help him to get a uniform. He talked to the chairman. There, at that time, the store, central stores used to give uniform. They wrote a SDN. Then they discussed, okay, if we provide Renu, the other three also will get. Other three works with another project. Then what is there wrong in giving them also? Then they gave me a pair of khaki pant and khaki shirt because of me. Other three boys also got it. Out of those three, one Chandra Mowli, he retired some time back. He was with Professor Balram and James Fall with Professor M. Vijayan and Shivanna. He was there in 1B, he is no more. And myself, before we got uniform khaki pant khaki shirt, so happy for me, I was enjoying that. There's probably that is the second pant. The first pant given by the contractor who built this building during the Dasara, I say Bakshis. One, one pant and one shirt he gave. And uh, that was the first. Before that, uh, during the plus one, one blue color uniform pant was my first pant. The second pant was given by the contractor. Then third pant was the khaki pant given by MBU. Uh, 
professor and chairman <coughs> and uh, actually i jumped to mba because in my heart in my mind in my thought everything is mbu i was supposed to start from the 4486 the first one i jumped because of the, the mind the, the mbu has occupied me like anything i have there's a lot more to talk about mbu i just go back to this 4486 so i was i applied ah, okay there is a point for that also at when i was working here the institute wanted to appoint some clerical staff within the institute those who are working as a temporary employees but passed the slc so that was a internal circular came up and i was one among them i applied nearly about 40 50 people we applied all our degree holders most of them lab assistant and very few were uh, helpers so there was uh, applied i got the interview call the on 7th december 85 typing test the typing test there also i made the same mistake 1.5 <laughs> line space and then removed the sheet that was in the lecturer complex here i got the another paper again that put a full stop for the last sentence completed i passed through that was on 7th december on 1st february they called me for iq test and the communication skill it's a written test and that also passed through. i don't know how i passed through what i written it is very i don't know how uh, this english and all is very difficult so i did not know how i read but i passed they called me for the interview oral interview the oral interview <coughs> it was the note the, what is called they announced in a notice board where our uh, students council building is at that time that was hr section hr section is only you need 1b and 1c so it was they put a notice board around 10 o'clock or so 10 10:30 on 4th february 1986 so my name was there there were two batches they made for the interview oral interview one is on 4th february another one on 5th february according to the list my name was there on 5th february i came back i told my professor murthy professor vijay i got selected for the oral interview so it is tomorrow then that one mr govinda sami was there he was doing some one for the one of the cha- the chairman's research work some model they asked me to go and get xerox it was xerox was not there here in the institute those days there was a one small xerox center was there no enlarged and reduction facility jumbo xerox next to the nataraj theater i went by cycle around 11 o'clock i left it it was around 1 o'clock when i came back in the meantime our subraman sir he was the assistant registrar at that time i don't know what has happened they wanted to conduct my interview on 4th itself so professor vijayan got the call and he was searching for me where is really where is really no one told me where i went then it was short 1 o'clock i had a bicycle it was a very good cycle many people liked that was called the slv what is called the um, satellite launch vehicle that they used to call my friends used to call so i came by bicycle finished my job it's about a 1920 year old boy how he will handle the cycle you all will be knowing this is a deep down no i had not applied any brake something about 40 50 km speed i was coming then turn that uh, this a deep uh, short turn left turn turn and put applied a brake sudden brake and stopped there professor vijayan was standing outside only in the portico <laughs> so immediately he, oh what rain i am looking for you. where were you he was very tall he put his hand on my shoulder took me to his room chairman's room made me to sit when he asked me where did you go i told him all these things i went for a xerox and that then told me see your interview is not tomorrow it will be today only then my face has become a sort of a, because of fear so how can i face the interview for next that is it was prepared next day if the non half an hour or so i have to appear 2:30 i have to report for the in the council chamber then he saw my face he took the phone he called uh, subraman sir see subraman my boy i told him but he is scared i don't know what you are going to do he told him okay let him come no problem we will make his name in the last thing then he said one two sentence he said one is 
uh, he is an i am sending my boy he is an extraordinary nice gentleman treat him kindly see i am telling this word very fluently on that day i don't know what is extraordinary nice gentleman nothing you know but some of the true sentence got registered in my mind like anything it's like my own tamil word even till today i have not forgotten that then i took the same cycle i went and stand stood in front of subaraman and immediately seeing me he was enna pa parandha vandiya he means inge hard kon bandra i just kept my phone down and you are there in front of me then i told then i said okay no i came by bicycle sir but since he talked to me in tamil i was comfortable in talking to him then he okay onnu bayapadade ni kadasi avaru naal mani kuda va no problem so you go and come and then i came back i didn't go home i came back i told my first boss professor amar and murthy so this is what happened then you sit here only i am the interviewer you are the candidate this is how they will ask questions you have to answer this so he taught he asked me few questions he himself asked me question he himself told the answer what will be <laughs> then i went home had a, some lunch uh, same khaki pant one white shirt like this white color full arm only then hawai chappal 33 rupees but a hawai chappal blue bottom white top that was very famous for <laughs> those days so i came there are people standing in the council chamber my if remove my hand leg and put it there's a what a lot of water because of the fear how i am going to face the interview then my turn came uh, people asked questions one particular question the chairman committee chairman asked the same thing what professor mr muthi asked me the question is can you see virus in naked eyes i said no this was taught by professor mr muthi already <laughs> then uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah then how can you see it what is the way to see it you can see through electron microscope then he asked me have you seen that then i i told him yes because i moved with my stu- our student and the lab assistant it was in mrc it was available have you seen that yes sir i seen where did you told him mrc then they asked me some five ten minutes question i don't know this is the one question what i remember the other questions i don't remember what they asked i don't know what he said but through the my sitting that they were laughing i don't know what why they were laughing but definitely now i came to know no of none of our faculty members laugh if you make a mistake none of that is the respect i have for our faculty members they teach you yes none of the faculty members you do anything any mistake you blunder mistake you do they will not laugh but they were laughing the entire my stay during the interview period then the final question he asked okay if you offer a job where will you join i said i have no uh, sort of uh, choices anywhere i can so professor mandayam srinivasan i don't think some of you know he uh, yeah he was the chairman at that time his position was chief planning right chief planning i don't see him yeah he asked me kept on asking me he didn't leave me <laughs> kept on asking no no something will be done in me then i told even if i get a job in mbo i will see you have something in your mind then they asked me to uh, my job is over they came off that it i was posted in space technology cell 4th uh, april 1986 morning i joined so from there onwards i continue for about 19 years so oh, in the meantime <laughs> yeah yeah this one only five six people we got selected in the first list among about 40 to 50 people who five to six people who got selected among that four people from mbo only three girls one jayshree is still there she was in M, earlier mcbl she was a lab assistant for professor balram and uh, sunita lab assistant for uh, professor brahmachari and uh, sorolia and uh, prabha lab assistant for professor vijayan and renu gopal lab helper for professor mr and murthy and f- and one more i don't know the five people got in the first list then it went up to 13 people 
out of 13 i am the only person not graduate all are graduates so 86 onwards i was there my first evaluation took place in 92 successfully completed second evaluation 98 that also completed then udc 2005 the, that interview was in council chamber. The first two interviews evaluation were in STC only in our own office. They used to come there and have. Then 2015 supervisor, our Rajaraja sir was there for the interview. And he was so happy on me. The questions that he asked, I could answer. And then superintendent, without any interview, they sent a letter. You have been promoted as superintendent recently. Uh, so that was one thing. Okay, now, yeah, now I talked about all those things, the SSC building, I built this, this building, all this over. Now, the title, why Vadavati to Bangalore? The Vadavati is my native place. So, the reason is, as I told you today, uh, those days it took about a uh, uh, 16 to even the first visit when I came to Bangalore it took 24 hours, even more. From my village, if I leave today around 4 o'clock, 3 kilometers we have to walk. There used to be one uh, half size bus used to come to Thirunamalai in the evening. So go around 7 7 30, he will reach Thirunamalai. Whole night he stay there. Around 4 o'clock, only one bus will come from Pondicherry to Bangalore. Now, every half an hour, there is a bus from Thirunamalai. By the time that bus reaches Bang uh, through Namalai, all the seats would have been filled and uh, many people must be standing. So around 6, 7 o'clock he will take. The next day 7 o'clock or so 6 o'clock it will come and Kalasipal is not majestic. Those days it was not majestic. Kalasipal he will stop. So 24 hours it took. 16 after some time it took 16 hours to come Bangalore. Then 10 hours it reduced to 8 hours, 6 hours. In another one year, it will take only four hours to reach my uh, village because Chennai Bangalore Expressway is under construction. So, only four hours is enough. <laughs> so, why this comparison is because my father walked throughout this 300 kilometer distance from my village to Bangalore to find a job to feed us. It was, yeah, he walked through. It was around November month. It was bristling. I vaguely remember. Must be around 1973 or 74. Yes. Yes. So November around around one another uncle accompanied my father. So it's it's the west side of my place. We are east. So he simply walked and everywhere he got the, that is the time harvesting of the groundnut so wherever they go some village they find some landlord that uh, after removing the groundnuts the plants they throw they have to collect and put it in one place they used to give some 25 pesos or some food like that he walked through bangalore so that is why i thought this title will be the better than anything else yeah so that is how and he came to tannery road first so one of our village people were there tannery road he did some job then he found our this contractor who built our ssu building and he joined the first building i came to know only is about seven eight years in palace cross the building built by our contractor was the house was processor this davans i did not know that so it was 19 74 or 75 he took me i was in fifth standard he took me to that house during the summer i stayed with him for one month i saw that house also even somehow i remember that uh, somebody told me that house is uh, professor satish davans after completing that the csi palace, palace cross the, sir the middle house is satish davan one of the other side is ram session the another one is um, AK and ready, AK and ready, three houses. So, so that is how he and he continued with the contractor for about another 22 hours till the death of the contractor. My father was there. So, he, this contractor had many watchmen, many masons, many mestres. 
they will come and go but my father had never he never left my father so somehow he finds some job and keep him with him the first building the institute for him is csic building so i don't know when it was see the second building physics department that present ug classes are taking the old physics first floor i was in ninth standard at that time i came for the summer vacation there so so that is why i chosen this title so before i complete i think this is what i wanted to share with you so i'll show you some photos this is my youngest photo available may 1981 yeah may 1981 there was no need for taking this photo the reason was after completing my plus 2 i tried for a degree no i didn't get any college admission then some of my village people said that why don't you go for a conductor bus job so we have to apply for bus conductor job then we have to then the application needed a photo so i still have a badge number for me i got the conductor first after getting the institute job there is a badge number assigned to me so that is the photo 1981 may yeah <laughs> so the next one is this 1992 ae department celebrated a golden jubilee professor a sridhar divisional dean at that time he gave this it's a suitcase still have that suitcase i'm using that so i got it there is professor krishnamurthy av krishnamurthy chair person and this one is completing a 15 years of service professor mehta gave me that was in mrc auditorium and this one is 2007 that's a silver jubilee of space technology cell where i worked for uh, about 19 years yeah professor raghunandan and uh, these are all my friends there is some speciality on this photo these three people and there is the under photo this person the last person charlie his name he still he is he is a crs now in aerospace charlie woman yeah the middle one pradeep he was associate professor in aerospace he is no more in 2007 june third he <laughs> cancer these two were my close friends although he is associate professor he don't allow me to call me sir or anything only pradeep till his death i used to call him uh, pradeep only and these two came forward to me be a surety for the bank to buy a site in the tata nagar so 105 places those two were assigned i think i am the only supporting staff got a surety from a faculty member in the institute probably i don't think anyone would have got that opportunity the charlie and uh, pradeep and uh, these three we are very close the other one today scientist g in isro and we went this group photo taken that middle person pradeep's wedding trishur we took and uh, that's a group photo taken the in this group photo middle one is professor sitaram but i don't know anybody of you aerospace and he was uh, my convener in stc also and this photo in mbu it was a night actually i used to sleep in mbu for 3 4 years there was no house for me this building mbu one student took me this photo when i was studying become where i could not get even 30% mark so it, without my knowledge he took there is there is a book that sc gupta book they gave me a rack also they treated me like one of the phd students that am you that is the photo taken by maybe in 85 somewhere at that time this is the building green house where i built constructed this for the join for this next to mbu this behind mbu before and the opposite to mathematics this is the building where i to work this shirt you see can see the khaki pant this t-shirt was given to me december 1984 the mbus golden jubilee or so they celebrate not golden jubilee no no they had a international conference on crystallography they gave me a gift to all this stuff one this t-shirt is given by them and this is that giving my job is to make this plant and all as i told you and this one tank when you go out you will see on the left side in this building only 7 rupees when I, this before all this my was my earning was 7 rupees we two people built this tank my job is to provide a assistant to the mason so from 
putting the foundation and making the wall plastering all that i have done in this thanks to smita who picked up this photo this and that mbu my colleague smita and this they took me the students although you know as i told you that all the students have become fat they took me for a picnic and this is somewhere in sri that shiva samudra this is professor murthy mrn murthy my first employer he told me the first day of my job on that day when i joined they asked me to for washing this glassware so 11 o'clock i started till 2 o'clock i didn't complete i didn't realize that it is at 2 o'clock he went for lunch he came back he asked me what rain inna illa idira utak hogilwa i said no no ivaga time estu gotta he said 2 o'clock ko mane ko uta madkon banni he said then i went and had food and when i got this job this is professor vijayan yeah, um, when i got the job professor murthy i told him then he said now you got a job on the putani udige nodi made madkolle so that is one thing and he encouraged me when i joined that time so this, this is not the your destination pc odkondidira nimge institute alli olle kelsa sigutte so ange avaru helidru and uh, where is one yeah this one malini this girl she is the one who taught me english now she is in usa this photo i taken with our director last month december 24 or 25 in usa there was a lecture going on she called me on whatsapp was chatting with me on um, whatsapp message can talk but uh, chatting with me she shared me this photo and the other one is her husband their marriage i went in um, air force station her father was the, the number one of his air marshal vice marshal also venkatraman came for the marriage uh, this thing I, she called me uh, that's a big thing uh, story i didn't utter i didn't eat <laughs> i went with hawaii chappal khaki pant and white shirt and that people all air force people with pant shirt nice tie shoe and cap vice president is coming then i thought this is not the place for me to stay i took some 80 rupees sandal wood the krishna that partha sare the in, in uh, kaveri emporium i went by cycle then i some given to somebody to, to mbu student i took my cycle came back around 6 o'clock i didn't attend it was shy for me and uh, these two people this person was before professor vijayan he was the chairman of mbu when he is the one who appointed me as a uh, mali in that uh, his project the name is professor v sashikaran i don't know anybody know this uh, even haridas also would not have seen him he retired in 1993 and this is his wife and they they took care of me entire period and they are the one encourage me to go for uh, typing and from that day until today i am in touch with him he is 93 year old and uh, she is around 80 90 year old i am still in touch they are still taking care of me even till today so with that uh, i want to complete with a uh, thanks i take this opportunity to thank all my colleagues that is past and present and my well wishers many of them and uh, all the admin officers who made my life very very comfortable in the institute over a period of 43 years a special thanks there is a person needs a special thanks that is to all our doctors particularly doctors nurses the other staff in the health center who were there always for me and my family because they from my day one for anything the health center used to help us like anything during 90s we had lot of problems Uh, infertility problem for us but the doctors subara starting from dr subara until today our neeti ravind and the permanent doctors and all the nurses and the other lab staff everyone office staff the what is called the medicines pharmacist everyone and finally i am also very thankful to all of you present here to listen me in spite of your busy schedule i would also thank samwad particularly for arranging this talk 
this will be a very special memory for me to carry for the rest of my life thank you very much and one more thing with that this is my first stage speaking to in this in front of this many people in my last in my entire life except attending that one or two interviews this is the first talk if i have made any mistake please sorry <laughs> And uh, if I to talk about MBU, my rest of life is not sufficient. So that much experience only in two years. And aerospace, another life is required. <laughs> so thanks, uh, Hari. Thank you. I hope na suchan pan na. Any questions? Ah. Any questions? everything, why did you offer? Ah, that is a tragedy. So I wrote GPF. I came, I went to the 1B section. I have written the, in front of them only I wrote. M or E I have written. Still my form is there. They said, some of our seniors said, why you are often you can switch over to any time. You strike off and get. I strike off that. Went back again, got my chairman signature submitted. That's the original I have still with me. What to do? That is a fate. Yeah, we will get it. When I come across so much, why not that also will get it. We will get it. Don't worry. All CPA holders, I will assure you, I think we will, the God is there in front of us, in favor of us. Thank you, Mr. Renu. That was wonderful journey. You know, you just took us. Sorry. You just took us the time we joined. You can remember. I switched off, yeah. Vijay and Yeah, that's okay. You know, aerospace was then in the old building. Uh, you know, most of the faculty members used to visit library. You know, it was a. Uh, you see, uh, he was telling about typing, short and all. Oh. It was something an art. Not everybody can do. Yeah. Typing is a, uh, typing, uh, especially short and is an art. Then you have to put lots of lots and lots of effort, which we guys have done, and we are here today. See, people talk about the new era saying on computers and all. We don't we don't think of all that. We have done a wonderful job in the past where we did not have any facilities. Take it for um, example for drinking water. You know, so many other facilities we didn't have. No but problem. Those really drinking enjoyed. water, Geeta. You can drink any tap water in the institute those days. That was not a problem actually. Sitting underneath the tree, you know, none of the faculties, you know, uh, went unnoticed. We, you know, we worked with Professor C.N.R. Rao, sir. He always used to wish us carrying lots of books. We had never seen him using the car. You know, this was the era which really, Renu, thanks and hats off to you for taking us with a long journey where you also passed through that. It was a wonderful session. Yeah, I missed one thing. You want to I would, share something? Yeah. I have typed 134 PhD thesis. Oh. Yes, type. And in July 1992, Yes, July 1992 alone, 13 theses got submitted. Sir, all will be available in the library. So you can see my name. And this book, this has been published by John Wiley. This has been typed by me. And what I typed as a reproducer, as a camera ready, what I done in 1995. This is the author is Professor P. L. Sachido, Mathematics Department. It took three years, of course. I used to sleep in the NSD. In, uh, uh, Jaisri knows non-linear studies group 132 column paper as uh, spread model but other day mala kolta hai dena na so it took it fed me also lot of money nearly I earned about thirty thousand rupees on that day so that day those days more than my yearly income on that day he gave me and uh, Pramana Journal of Physics sir eleven years I formatted sir uh, that uh, journal you, it, you must be getting the library also. I formatted using the latex software and maybe some thousand research papers I would have typed mainly biological sciences and chemical sciences divisions and so many research proposals and project completion reports with several things uh, that using various starting from WordStar, Chiriter, MS Office, latex. So this this I forgot. I, I brought this book to show it to you. There is no time and it will be in the library. I will give it to sir. This was given to director I think. When we vacated that room, when we altered renovation, I took this book, kept it with me. He has not written best compliment or also. 
um, I think I don't know saw how this book came to me. So I'll give it to Sir Wally. Let it go to the library. Okay. Thank you. So I'll close this. Uh, sir, you, you can see my name, sir. Yeah. So this is what I type.